Folks, the age of gigascale distributed AI super factories just began. Last week, NVIDIA quietly announced Spectrum XGS Ethernet. Not another GPU, not another chip architecture. This is something fundamentally different. What they're calling scale across technology. And if you understand what this solves, you'll see why this might be the most important networking announcement of this year, 2025. I'm going to start by focusing on the fundamentals, beginning with the physics problem. For decades, we've had two ways to scale computing, scale up and scale out. Scale up means making individual systems more powerful. So faster processors, more memory, tighter integration. Think nanosecond level direct memory access between GPUs. Scale out means adding more systems and connecting them with networks, which adds flexibility, but you're dealing with millisecond level latency over traditional ethernet or InfiniBand connections. Here's the thing about AI workloads. They push both approaches to their limits. AI workloads are uniquely demanding. They stretch both bandwidth and latency to their extremes. On one side, training requires massive, tightly synchronized data exchanges across hundreds or thousands of GPUs. But those GPUs need to communicate constantly, sharing gradients and model parameters. Every millisecond of network latency directly impacts training efficiency. So this stresses the system's ability to move data quickly and in parallel. And on the other side, there's the inference workloads. Well, this demands ultra low latency and rapid responsiveness, often with unpredictable traffic patterns. These two pressures are not only intense, but often at odds with each other, forcing infrastructure to operate at the edge of its capabilities across the entire stack. So that's one aspect. Now there's something else. The AI boom it created a capacity crisis. Think about this. 10 years ago, a 30 megawatt data center was considered large. Today, 200 megawatts is normal. Average power density per rack has doubled in just two years, from eight kilowatts to 17 kilowatts. Training something like ChatGPT can consume over 80 kilowatts per rack. NVIDIA's latest GB200 systems, they're pushing 120 kilowatts per rack. The math is clear. Individual data centers are hitting hard physical limits like power grid capacity, cooling infrastructure, even real estate availability. Northern Virginia, the so-called data capital of the world, has a vacancy rate under 1%. McKinsey estimates we need to build twice the data center capacity built since 2000 and get this in a quarter of the time. So what happens when you can't scale up with a single facility anymore? Well, you have to scale across multiple facilities. And that is the problem. Our traditional networking wasn't designed for this. This is where NVIDIA's Spectrum XGS comes in. At first, you may think, well, this is just a better, faster Ethernet switch. No, it's much more than that. It's what NVIDIA calls the third pillar of AI computing, which is adding scale across to the existing scale up and scale out paradigms. The breakthrough is in the algorithms. Spectrum XGS dynamically adapts the network to distance between data center facilities. It implements advanced distance congestion control, precision latency management, and end-to-end -end telemetry that nearly doubles the performance of NVIDIA's collective communications library. What this means in practical terms, multiple geographically distributed data centers can now operate as a single unified AI super factory. The system automatically compensates for the physics of long distance networking by managing jitter, controlling congestion, maintaining predictable performance across cities and even continents. Core Reeve is already deploying this technology. Their CTO, Peter Solanke, put it perfectly when he said, we can connect our data centers into a single unified supercomputer. Pause and think about that. That's freaking amazing. Think about what this enables. Instead of being constrained by the power grid in Northern Virginia or the cooling capacity in a single facility, you can now distribute AI training across multiple sites 
while maintaining the performance characteristics of a single massive system. This isn't just about solving today's capacity constraints either. This is about fundamentally changing how we think about AI infrastructure geography. Suddenly, data center sovereignty laws, local power costs, cooling climates, and regulatory environments become variables you can optimize across instead of these being constraints you have to work within. So I would say that NVIDIA just solved AI's network geography problem. For the first time, the physics of distance doesn't have to dictate the architecture of your AI infrastructure. Scale across technology means you can build gigascale AI systems that span continents while maintaining the performance characteristics that AI workloads demand. This isn't just an incremental improvement in networking. This is a paradigm shift that makes distributed AI infrastructure not just possible, but optimal. So from my perspective, the companies that understand this first and architect their infrastructure accordingly will indeed have a significant competitive advantage in the AI economy. Spectrum XGS Ethernet is available now as part of NVIDIA's Spectrum X platform. The question isn't whether this technology will reshape AI infrastructure, it's how quickly enterprises will adapt their strategies to leverage it. Folks, the age of gigascale distributed AI superfactories just began. began.